Hey, it's Mike Brennan, and I'm at the uh, IHEMP Michigan Conference here in Lansing, and I'm with one of the keynote speakers, Gary Schuler, founder and CEO of GTF, Glean the Fields, right? Yes, Mike. All right. Now, uh, I unfortunately missed his uh, speech today because I was busy shooting these videos, but we just talked about what he talked about, and it's really you were focusing on the second generation of industrial hemp products here in Michigan, right? Correct, Mike. Uh, a lot of the focus right now is on the top half of the plant or the top 20% of the plant, which is CBD production, hemp oil, and seed production. But what a lot of folks don't realize is that 80% of the actual mass volume of the hemp plant is on the bottom half, it's the stocks. And we've all heard that there's over 20,000 uses of industrial hemp for the automotive sector, bioplastic, textile industries. But in reality, for 2019, there's millions of pounds of reddit stocks just being stockpiled. So why is that? Well, the, the real reason is, is that we need to have buyers of that material. And before those buyers are willing to buy that out, that, 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 that stock material, it needs to be processed, very similar to an oil refinery, where you take crude oil and refining it down for jet fuel or gasoline. The same thing needs to occur for the hemp waste. So what we're doing actually at GTF is we're able to separate that fiber in the herd, but different than a decorticator, we're able to uh, extract the water and the oil down to uh, less than 3% moisture content uh, and a particle size of less than the size of a human hair. And why that's important is when you're trying to mix uh, hemp material into, let's say, a combination of polypropylene, um, it, it needs to be that small and that dry. Now the value to the farmer is that what we're working on is a secondary revenue source for the farmer. So now this waste material versus being a cost can actually be a revenue source. Right. So what we're seeing is emerging is uh, quite rapidly is these, uh, I would call it these new business startups, uh, new uh, opportunities within existing corporations for the hemp material because the hemp material itself, the waste material, actually adds value to some of the properties of what they're currently doing, but also just think about the environmental impact. If we can reduce our polypropylene use or our fossil fuel materials, we're directly impacting the environment and the carbon reduction as well. The other thing you mentioned was uh, one of the things that we lack uh, is, is well, sort of the old textile industry which went away 20, 30 years ago, yeah. and what we need now is a textile industry of sorts for hemp, and one of the things you said you'd like to do is see that be developed here in Michigan. Well, uh, there's some discussions already in, in progress, but uh, there's um, a number of uh, retail uh, manufacturers who are looking at hemp uh, because the hemp material itself regard versus a, a, uh, a nylon or even a cotton material is, has a, a, a much better strength, wear life. Um, but right now, the only source of hemp fabric is uh, usually over in China. And sometimes that processing, what they're doing is with very harsh chemicals. So the question becomes is, well, why not have a hemp fabric milling here in the U.S. where we're taking U.S. grown hemp, we're processing that, that hemp so that it can be then woven into string and then to the fabric and then made for garments. There's no reason why not. So we're, when we're looking at that, process, well, it's opening up a, a brand new door to re-emerging businesses for, for textile manufacturing, for uh, fabric production, thread, uh, but we're also seeing that that could actually even then carry over into the packaging industry. If you look at it, pizza boxes, how many pizza boxes were, were made here in the U.S. last year? <laughs> well, in a circular economy, why not use hemp? There's right. no reason why it can't. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so if folks want to learn more about what you guys are doing, what sort of contact information do you want to provide? Well, my contact is, uh, you can reach me at uh, schulerg at solutiongtf.com. Uh, the website is www.solutiongtf.com. But also, really, the greatest connection right now in this is the IHEMP. Uh, we're working with some, some uh, initiatives right now that we're trying to work with a uh, an approach with the governor's office, with researchers, uh, Michigan State University, Michigan Tech, uh, as well as some of the uh, industries here in Michigan to really start planning out what's the possibilities for the next five years? What, 
what are the options, what's the forecasting it needs, what type of plants, what type of materials are these companies looking for, and uh, can we track that as well? How many new jobs are created? Wouldn't that be great to know how many new businesses were created, jobs, but also the environmental impact? Because again, the more that we can use hemp that has a direct uh, um, um, a result in reducing carbon emissions in this, in not only in the state of Michigan, but uh, in the entire country. So all, all that information is talked about, you can find at IHEMP Michigan? Yes. All right, sounds great. That's uh, Gary Schuler, uh, the co-founder and CEO of GTF, and we are at the IHEMP Michigan Conference. Thank you, Thank Mike. You. Appreciate it.